Hello lovelies, in this video the brilliant Dr. Webber is going to take you through the structure of DNA, so what it looks like, how we know what it looks like and what this means for us as biology students. DNA structure. DNA or nucleic acids including DNA are polymers. They're made up of monomers which are called nucleotides. Both RNA and DNA are examples of nucleic acids and they are both polymers. Here is the nucleotide adenine. We need to be able to label the structures in a nucleotide and identify them. So we have a phosphate group. We have a sugar, a pentose sugar, which will be ribose in RNA and deoxyribose in DNA. That's the difference between the R in RNA and D in DNA ribonucleic acid or deoxyribonucleic acid. Each nucleotide will have a different nitrogenous base. This example here is adenine, but there is also guanine, cytosine and thymine. Thymine is only found in DNA. Uracil is another example of a base and this is found in RNA only. The parts of the nucleotide are held together by different covalent bonds. An ester bond formed from a condensation reaction holds together the phosphate and the sugar. And a glycosidic bond formed between the sugar and the nitrogenous base, again formed with a condensation reaction. When these nucleotides join together to form DNA, the phosphate and the sugar form the backbone. The bases join together through what we call complementary base pairing to form this kind of ladder structure. They form the rungs and the, together it forms a double helix. What we mean by complementary base pairing is that the base A, so adenine, always binds with thymine and the base C always binds with G or cytosine always binds with guanine. When we see a double helix, you can see it here once it's been twisted around. So we've got two strands or we are double stranded and the coiling or twisting is known as a helix, like helical. Phosphodiester bonds form between the sugars and the phosphates to form that sugar phosphate backbone, again through condensation reactions. The bases bind together with hydrogen bonds. So this is the bond and one of the only bonds in DNA that's not formed from a condensation reaction. So no hydrolysis is going to be needed to split these bonds apart. It's just hydrogen bonding, which attracts the bases to each other. We also need to know about the structure of RNA and its differences to DNA. RNA is considered a simpler molecule because it's single stranded, not double stranded, and it's much shorter than your DNA molecule that's in your cells. There are some other differences. It obviously contains ribose and not deoxyribose as the sugar in its nucleotides. And there is no thymine bases. All of those will have been replaced with uracil instead. There are different kinds of RNA as well. So messenger RNA, transfer RNA and ribosomal RNA. We're gonna come across all of these in the course. Uh, messenger RNA and transfer RNA are involved in protein synthesis. And then ribosomal RNA is what ribosomes are made of. Ouch! This is why in some videos I like explain scratches. <laughs> 